Good morning, happy Monday. I hope everyone had a great weekend with their families. I hope that you did something fun. What did you guys do this weekend? Can you tell me something fun that you did? Wow, you guys had a great weekend. That's so nice to hear. Are we ready for a circle? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how do you do, my friends? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's do the date. Today's not Sunday, but it's the beginning of our week and it's Monday. And today is Monday, April 20th, 2020. And what's our weather like outside? Let's see. It's cloudy, it's a little bit rainy, and it's not very warm outside. So we're going to move our dial over to rainy. And they say that April showers bring May flowers. So I hope that we get lots of pretty flowers next month. All right, so for today's lesson, we are going to talk about another land and water form. But let's review the ones that we've been doing before. So the first one that we did was, which one is this? This is the lake. And the lake is a body of water surrounded on all sides by, what is this? Land, that's right. And our island is a body of land surrounded on all sides by, you can go swimming in it, water. That's right. And last week we talked about a new land and water form, the Cape and the Bay. So the Cape was the body of land projected out into the water and surrounded on three sides, one, two, three, by water. And the bay was the water surrounded on three sides by land. One, two, three. Today, we are going to talk about a strait and an isthmus. So the first one is the strait. So the strait is a narrow body of water and it's surrounded on two sides by land. Now I don't have our world map or our globe, but I found a small little world and I wanted to show you a strait. Let me find it. So this is North America right here where we live. And then we've been talking about the continent of Europe. Now, Russia is a country in Europe. And if you look between Alaska and Russia is a narrow body of water called the Bering Strait. So it separates those two bodies of land. Pretty nice, huh? All right, our next one is the Isthmus. This one's a little tricky to say, but the Isthmus is a narrow body of land that separates two bodies of water. So I have a fun activity that we're going to do. One I'm going to show you that we would do in class and one that you could probably do at home if you have the materials. All right, you guys ready? Okay, friends, so Oliver is going to help us make a straight and an isthmus. So Oliver, can you carefully with two hands pour the blue water into the first tray? And that one is the isthmus. So we'll pour water on either side of the land. And 
And our next one is the straight. So we'll pour water in between the two bodies of land and make a straight. All right, next we'll have to decide where our figures go. Will they go on the straight or in the isthmus? All right, Oliver, can you choose one for us? All right, the a first person. one is a person. So would the person go in the straight or in the isthmus? They would go on the land. They would go on the land, okay. Thank you. What's the next one? The fish. The fish, where would you put the fish? The fish will probably go in the ocean. In the water, okay. The whales like, like to have some party with in the, this other ocean. Okay. The elephant, he is, sometimes he would like to drink water, but he doesn't like to go in the water, but he likes in the desert to go inside the water, only with his feet. Okay. We have another one. Next one is, uh, what is it? Looks like a kind of whale. The whale would go in the ocean with the whale party. Okay. The shark. The shark will probably want to go eat some fish. Hmm. Then the turtles, they could go in the water and on the whale. So they could go in the water, but not with the shark, they could go in with the whales. And the piggy, would they go, would they go on land or would they go on the water? The piggy would probably stay on land with the people at the farm. The last one, another shark. Would you put it in here or would you put it in here or here? would put it in here probably. Nice. And now it's done. Thank you so much for all your help. So for friends at home, you probably won't have these land and water form trays, but Oliver and I found something that you might have at home. So you might have a baking dish or pans, something that's deep that you can fill with water. And you might have some rocks. We went outside and found these rocks out on our sidewalk. So the first one is the straight. So we would carefully with two hands pour our blue water. And let's see if we make There's not a lot. straight. I think that should be okay for that one. All right, pour it on yeah. in and let's see. Carefully, do it carefully. Nice, so we have a body of water separating on three sides. Separating two bodies of land. Two bodies of land. All right. And then our isthmus. We have our isthmus right here. We also learned that an it's isthmus two is- two bodies of water. That's right, two bodies of water separated by land. But this land is really important because animals can use it to migrate to other places, right? And they migrate when? Um, in the summer? When it's cold outside, they might migrate um, to a warmer. The winter. The winter. All right, there's a little bit more water. Fill it up. So you'll have to pour water on either side of the land. Because there's two bodies of water, not two, not one body of water. This time there's one body of land and two bodies of water. That's right. It's actually going through these little holes. It's going to be bending up at the other it's side. Okay. That means I don't need to do it the other side. Really nice. So we made our own straight and our own isthmus. So this might be something that you could do at home. Um, yeah, you, everyone can do it. Everyone can do it. Thank you so much for your help, Oliver. And if you do this, please share with us on Seesaw or you can email it to us. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.